guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is the Stylist What's Hot Summer Edition for 2024. This is worth over £300 and originally I think it was £64 but they came out with a code that, and I got it for £44 including free delivery. I did post about this as soon as I saw the offer. I tend to post quite a lot of um, like notifications about beauty and stuff that's available because sometimes it's really difficult. So stuff I love and other people are not interested and vice versa. So I tend to post a lot of different things and you can pick and choose what you want to um, follow up, I guess, whether you're interested in it and stuff. So anyway, I thought for £44, it was an absolute bargain. Um, it is super heavy. It's absolutely jam packed full of stuff. There's actually more in here than was listed. So essentially on the pictures, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but when I posted the pictures, I noticed there was a couple of little items in there that weren't listed in the description of what was in the box. I thought it was a bit odd, um, but they have been actually included in the box and they're just described as bonus items. And I kind of think, why? Is that so they can say everything's full size or something? I don't know, maybe that's why, because they are sort of minis, but I was just really pleased they're in there. So anyway, it's in one of these latest in beauty boxes. Um, and everything in the boxes are that interesting. Not that it matters, but you know when like Cult Beauty and other brands do edits, it sends me like a nice thick box. So anyway, so there's a whole bunch of things in here. I'll take you through it all. There's also um, a leaflet that comes with the box if you get it. And it says, introducing the summer sensation you've been waiting for. With summer upon us, this edit is your ticket to staying ahead of the curve and embracing the hottest summer trends of 2024. Uh, the edit is packed with 16 items, 11 of which are full sized, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there is a whole bunch of stuff and there's also discount codes in here for a lot of the brands. So um, definitely check that out if you like any of the products or anything like that, it's worth looking. So there is um, a little sachet from a brand called Me Plus, which is Superdrug, um, and it is a hyaluronic booster sachet. Again, this is not mentioned anywhere, it's just a sample, and then there's 20% off on the back if you like it, so that's good. So the first product I see here is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Blemish Treatment, 30ml or a fluid ounce. This one is a full size. It is worth £24. I actually already own this, I bought this myself previously. Unexpected breakout, clear pimples fast with the number one spot treatment, formulated with the highest level of sulfur allowed for clinical blemish control. The blemish treatment works quickly to clear existing blemishes, reduce red redness and prevent future breakouts. This stuff does not smell good, as you would expect if you know what sulfur smells like. It's also a bit of a yucky, kind of pinky, like off pink, almost like a Pepto-Bismol colour to it. I put a cotton bud into it and then just used it to... Um, apply directly to the blemish. Because it's essentially drying it up, if you don't do it that way and you just slap a load on, all the skin around the blemish will just get really, really dry. So do follow the directions unless you want a big patch of dry skin. But as an actual something that you can put on and you feel like it's doing something, it seems to work well. It does what it says it does on the tin, even though it's not in a tin. Just follow the directions with this one. Next we have got a full size cleanser by a brand called Skin Cycles by Alice. This is a hydrating cleanser, soothing, hydrating, anti-pollution. Anti anti the ultimate restorative cleanser containing antioxidants for stressed or sensitive skin, 150ml, 5.1 fluid ounce, not tested on animals, cruelty free, clinically inspired, sustainably produced and it's made in Germany. If I'm not mistaken, I got something from this brand in my latest Liberty Beauty drop box. I think it was one of the face masks and I'd never heard of the brand before. So I'm guessing it's just recently come to the UK maybe, or I've just not seen it. But this is a full size which retails for £50. So a nice little bit of value. This is basically worth more than I paid for the whole box. A lightweight hydrating cream cleanser with something I can't pronounce extract, which strengthens and protects from damaging environmental influences. It's got vitamin C, which promotes anti-aging and helps even the skin tone, while macadamia nut oil helps to strengthen the skin's barrier. The other thing that makes me a little bit nervous about that is it's for sensitive skin, but it's got vitamin C in. I would have thought that could potentially irritate some people's skin. Doesn't mind, I suppose, and I have got fairly sensitive skin. So maybe it's just one of those, give it a go and see. But it says, dampen hands, distribute the cleanser generously over the face, neck and decolletage, gently massage upwards, then rinse, use twice daily. 
The next product I can heartily recommend because it is one I already have and love. This is the Clinique Soothe Plus Skin Purifier. It protects the skin barrier from pollutants and impurities, prevents breakouts and promotes rapid recovery. High purity, hyperchlorous for all skin concerns. 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounce. This smells a little bit like a swimming pool. It's not the nicest smell. It's like an off smell, I've got to be honest. However, I think this is an absolute dupe for, oh, what's the name? The Tower 28 spray. There's only one they do. The spray that they do, it's pretty well known. I've bought it many times um, in the US. I think we can get it over here via Revolver, etc. It's brilliant. And it's just something that, this is the one I've already got, by the way, um, that you spray on your face. So I use this as part of my routine. So I will cleanse my skin, pat it dry, and then spray this. And it just kind of balances the skin. So it's really great for sensitive skin. I get sometimes eczema and stuff on my face, but they also recommend it for people with blemishes, rosacea, acne, any kind of inflammation, stuff like that. I'll spray a little bit on now, even though I wouldn't normally do it at this point in my routine. It's also quite nice as a soothing mist, I guess, but it's an incredible product. And for the price point, this one resells for $14.95. It's a lot more affordable than the Tower 28 one I was talking to you about, which is also amazing, but a lot pricier. Um, it's really, really nice. This has got seven benefits, all skin concerns, purify, cleanse, soothe, protect, balance, calm, recover. It's for face, eyes, lips, and body. Spray it wherever you like, basically. Very, very good. It balances redness and promotes rapid skin recovery with visible results. So I think you'll like this. I like it anyway. And like I said, I've already got one on the go, so nice to have another one. That was one of the things that sold it for me. And I think that's what's difficult with these edits. You can see something and think, wow, all those products worth X amount of pounds for less than the cost of the products individually but actually the products you want you have to work that out and these are some of the items that kind of stood out to me and I was like yes yes absolutely the next product is from that me plus brand which is the super drug brand that we got the sample sachet thing from this is the 10% vitamin c booster with 10% vitamin c you, you'd hope so when they're calling it a 10% vitamin c booster wouldn't you for brightening improves radiance and evens out skin tone so this is in like a glass uh, bottle with obviously a little dropper thing on top so this one retails for 12.99 and is a full size so it seems like it's a pretty affordable everyday brand which is good it says it contains 10 percent vitamin c and ferulic acid i love ferulic acid for my skin to deliver radiance and smoothness to the skin the formulation helps to minimize the appearance of pigmentation firms and improves texture it can also be used daily I certainly use vitamin C every day and it makes a massive difference to the brightness of my skin, gets rid of dark um, spots, etc. So next is from Luna and this is the oil for, the, for, for everywhere, even intimate skin. Um, and it's the 10 mil travel size. This is another product I really wanted. So I have the Luna wash, um, daily wash, whatever you call it. Um, and it's literally can be used on the most sensitive parts of your body, should we say. And I really, really like this brand, but I've never tried the oil because I don't know why I haven't tried it. Sorry, I'm just excited for this one. Right, okay, so once I take it out of the tube, it's a little bit smaller. But yeah, it's been on my list of things to pick up at some point, and I never have. And this gets really good reviews. So it's in a little, like, vial thing where you just press that and the oil comes out. Oh, you have to kind of like press it every time you want it to come out, which is not what I expected. Doesn't really seem to smell of anything, but it gets fantastic reviews. So this travel size retails for £12 and it says it is a clinically proven multi-purpose body oil and it's for ingrown hairs, scars, blemishes, bumps, dark spots and stretch marks with organic tamanu oil, rosehip oil and vitamin C and E and it's lightweight for anywhere that needs extra care or is prone to dryness, including intimate skin. So apparently it's really good for like when you've had your eyebrows done and they're a little bit irritated or anywhere that you've got a little bit of irritation. So I'm very excited to put this one to the test. It is just a blend of different oils, but apparently it is safe for all the areas and it's really good. So I'm very happy to have this on board. Unfortunately, Luna is not one of the ones with the discount code. Well, that's a shame because I was thinking I could buy more things from the range. There you go. Next from Tropic Skincare, we have got the Morning Mist Soothing Toning Essence, certified organic. Soothing avocado milk, hydrating aloe vera juice, rejuvenating rose water. I've got so many mists on the go. 
It looks like it's like a creamy kind of mist. It's in a nice glass bottle. This one retails for £20 and it's 100ml full size. Formulated with gentle ingredients to keep your skin's pH level balanced, this vegan toning essence helps to maintain healthy barrier function. Apply before moisturiser in your AM and PM routine or spritz over makeup for a fresh, dewy look. Fresh the made for maximum results. Next, we have got some beauty gummies. These are the Manifesto Beauty 7 Day Supply Hair, Skin and Nails Food Supplement with Biotin and Astaxanthin. Natural cherry, 14 flavour gummies. You basically take two a day. They are prebiotic, high in fibre, vegan, no artificial colours or flavours and gluten free. I'm just trying to work out what we've got. So the vitamins A, E, C, biotin, zinc, selenium, a side berry extract and something I can't pronounce. Yes, I can eat these. I already take vitamins, so I was just checking I don't take those particular vitamins. I don't think I do. I'm not sure over vitamin myself for the day. I'm sure it won't do me any harm. So I've had these before. They came in, I think I called Beauty Edit or something. So they're like a squashy little gummy thing. They are very tasty. They just taste like cherry gummy sweets, to be honest. They don't taste like vitamins. So if you struggle to take vitamins, it's a good option. It's just formulated with the exact right balance of vitamins, minerals, and superfood extracts to support hair, skin, and nails affected by stress and hormonal changes. The tasty cherry flavoured gummies are supercharged with botanical ingredients such as, I think it's astaxanthin, which is the one I wasn't sure how to pronounce before, still not sure, and a side berry extract. So I've had these before, like I said, in an edit, and I didn't really repurchase them because they weren't the cheapest, and I, I'm never quite sure which vitamins are doing what if I take too many. But in terms of buying them yourself, a refill pack is, I think, £32 for 60 So based on the 14 gummies that we've got here, that makes them worth about 7 46 Obviously, it's like a sample one, but certainly it's good enough to see if you like the taste or if there's any adverse effects that kind of shouldn't be. But yeah, it's a nice way to try them, but obviously you don't expect any results in a week because it takes longer than that. Next from Dr. Siba, the Self Tanning Drops Gradual Bronzing Glow Boosting Digital HEV Light Protection. That's a lot of words. So this is a 5ml bottle, or 0.17 fluid ounce, and it's in like a tinted bottle, I guess, so they don't degrade in the light. If that even happens with this type of product. So a full size of this would be 20 mil for 35 pounds, making this worth 8.75 price per mil. And it says that the self-tanning drops deliver a radiant and healthy looking sun-free glow while shielding the skin against the aging effects of high energy visible light, HEV, which is emitted by smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Yeah, I think, I think we're all kind of guilty of that, let's be honest. So I've never used these before. I absolutely love the tan looks, gradual tanning drops. I know you're probably looking at my face going, you're so pale crystal, since when are you using self-tan? But honestly, if I didn't, I would look like I'd just been recently dug up. So um, yeah, it just, it just takes that edge off, makes me less blue and more healthy, I guess. And it gives you a bit of a glow. So all that being said, this sounds like my kind of product and I've never used them before. So we will try them and see if they're as good as my others. Um, but it just says to use two to three drops with the moisturizer or serum of your choice. Well, let's be honest, it says with a Dr. Seabar one, because of course buy their moisturizer. For a deeper colour, you can use three to five drops. Apply evenly to perfectly cleanse skin. After use, wash hands immediately. Exfoliate first for, for best results. Colour develops gradually. I've read that actually two to three drops is quite potent. Um, so I'm just probably going to use like one drop to start and just see if what I look like afterwards. The downside of a gradual tan is you really don't know what you've done until several hours later. Next from Elf Cosmetics, we have got the Squeeze Me Lip Balm in a six gram tube. And this one is strawberry. I love me some lip balms. So let's give this a try. Oh, it's so cute. It's so tiny, I like it. Oh, it's got an applicator. We like an applicator. Squeeze. Oh, there we go. It's a nice kind of orangey color. I've already got lipstick on, so let's see. Oh, it smells like strawberry. I guess, I guess you did expect that. Hmm. If you wonder why I keep looking this way, that's where the screen is, so yeah. I've now got lip balm and lipstick on my finger. Oh, the joys. Mm, it feels quite moisturising. It says, meet your favourite sidekick for hydrated and nourished lips. 
This lightweight sheer lip balm is enriched with lip loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid, shea butter and goji berry. It's perfectly pocket sized, which it is, for a boost of moisture with a sheer kiss of colour on the go. And it retails for £4. I must confess, at that price point, it feels very, very good. Maybe I've finally been converted to the world of lower priced lip balms because I tend to go for the more expensive ones because I tend to think they're going to be better. I'm now starting to think that's maybe not always the case. Lesson learned. I come and watch my videos. I learn like life lessons in them. You think it's just about beauty? It's not. It's about so much more than beauty. Next, and one of the reasons I bought the box is for this lip liner from Vive. It is the Modern Lip Definer. Uh, it's basically a lip pencil in a full size. I really like this brand. I really like a lot of their products. I have another lip pencil, which I think is really good. So yep, yeah, I'm all aboard for that. This is what it looks like, and it is in the shade Peached. It's 1.2 gram, like I said, full size, and it retails for £19. Line and define lips in a single sweep with a creamy and richly pigmented formula of modern lip definer, where pink meets peach shade. So it is a little bit more peachy than the lip colour I'm currently wearing, but you basically can't see it, so not that dramatic. So I'm kind of thinking that this will probably go with a pinky colour, but also if you wanted like more of a, a nudie lip, so maybe just this with a bit of gloss or that lip balm I just applied, this is what it looks like. I think you could definitely do that with the lip balm over the top, and I think that would give quite a nice little effect. Why did I apply lipstick before starting the video? That was a mistake, wasn't it? Anyway, the next product is by a brand called Emolin. I think it is. I have never heard of this brand before. Please leave me a comment if you ever have because I sometimes think, is it just me? I mean, I spend a lot of time looking at beauty on beauty websites and stuff like that. I am very interested in it, obviously, and I've never heard of this brand. So how is that? Let me know. So this is the Gloss Lip Vitamin E Infused High Shine Colour Gloss. You will get uh, one of two colours. You'll either get Lyra or Eritre, I think. This retails for £17. It is a full size 5.5ml. So this one looks a bit like a kind of nudie colour, which is not really me at all. It is the shade Lyra. I was just looking at the um, like tube thing it's in and I was thinking, oh, they've not printed the E properly. Then I've just realised the branding of this product is like an unfinished E. So yeah, obviously it's a thing. But yeah, have you ever heard of this brand? Next up, and a brand I think I have heard of, it is, I think it's Cagia Weiss, and this is the Impossible Mascara, and it is in a 7ml size. This packaging is a very kind of looks. It does not feel like a packaging you would normally expect to find a mascara in, but there you go. Interesting tube, it's kind of flat there, so if you put it down it won't like roll around, um, and then like normal mascara tube the rest of it so this is another one with kind of fancy packaging apparently this is a full size worth 30 pounds it says lash perfection with every stroke discover a certified organic refillable mascara that dramatically lengthens thickens and defines your lashes from root to tip for the ultimate lash transformation how is a mascara refillable i've literally never seen a refillable mascara before next and the biggest thing in the box is by a brand called hask which stands for Hair and Skin Kindness. It is the Argan Oil from Morocco. Um, five in one leave-in spray made with argan oil, conditions and detangles, 175 ml, six fluid ounce. I think I've seen this somewhere, but I don't know where. So this retails for 6.99. It says one miracle product, five amazing benefits, formulated with argan oil from Morocco. The specialty blend of ingredients is designed to pack your strands with moisturizing and conditioning agents that help to restore dry, damaged hair. But will my fine hair tolerate it? That's what you need to let me know. If you use this with fine hair, let me know. Next is a brand called Maria Neela. I haven't heard of this until recently, but I've seen this in Selfridges. It is their cream heat spray um, for hold or low hold. Uh, 75 ml, 2.5 fluid ounce. It is PETA approved, cruelty free, obviously, and vegan. And I think this is in a travel size. Oh, it's got two lids. Why, why does it need two lids? I mean, it looks fancy with that big lid, but like, why? Why does anyone need two lids? 
So this is a travel size. As I said, it's worth £14. This is a nourishing, heat-protecting cream-based spray that provides moisture to protect the hair. It rebuilds damaged hair and prevents split ends while adding subtle shine to the hair. The Colour Guard Complex helps to preserve the colour. Again, can I use this with fine hair? Next, we've got a fragrance from Billie Eilish. This is Eilish number two. I didn't even know she had a number one perfume, to be fair. The Eau de Parfum, and it's a 7.5ml or point. Um, 25 fluid ounce and we get half a head and half of some boobs so that's interesting it's in like um almost like a metal bottle okay there she basically rotates this half-headed woman and there's your perfume so this is a deluxe mini worth 14 pounds a sensual alluring aroma discover this it Discover this alluring woody floral fragrance featuring notes of apple blossom, wild wet poppy flowers and palo santo. It does have like a bit of a smokiness to it. I actually think I might like it. It's, it's one of those like unusual fragrances that I think you probably either love it or hate it. Something different. It's definitely, definitely different. It kind of smells like a quite expensive high-end fragrance if you know what I mean. Okay, so now we are down to the bonus items, which I don't think have been included in the value of the box. First up, we've got the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate, two 10ml little bottles of this. So 15ml of this would be £37, and we basically get 20ml for the two, so that's pretty good. It's a Shiseido's Hero Anti-Aging Serum with over 252 beauty awards. Ultimune works to strengthen your skin barrier, revealing youthful and resilient skin with a visible radiance in just three days. So I thought this was finally the time I was going to use this, but I've realised the second ingredient is alcohol. And I try not to use products with alcohol on my face. Like, fair enough if it's one that's like a wipe or something that's going to, like, my... Um, Peel pads I sometimes use, where you literally swipe it and then you're putting something else on. That I can cope with. But something I'm leaving on the skin, I'm not a big fan of using um, alcohol because I feel like it dries the skin out. So it's kind of put me off. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, loads of people love this. So maybe, maybe I'm missing out. Let me know in the comments. Have you used it? Do you love it? Am I missing out? And these are the products where I was saying, these next two, that they were in the picture but not listed. So the first is by Ole Henriksen and it's a strength trainer, peptide boost moisturizer with vegan peptide, ceramides and collagen. It strengthens the skin barrier and hydrates. I actually got one of these originally, possibly in this size from Toilbox, maybe it was a bigger one, and I really fell in love with it. I really like this moisturizer. So we get the seven mil uh, sample size, but that's definitely enough to see if you like it as much as I do. So a full size would be 50 mil of products for 42 pound, making this seven mil size worth about 588. Packed with peptides, the face cream works to promote the appearance of firmness and elasticity for skin that may be revealing visible signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid nourishes the skin's barrier, joining forces with collagen to promote a plumping effect. After use, the complexion appears refreshed and revived with a fuller looking finish. Also from Ole Henriksen and another really well-known product from the brand is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Gold complex, vitamin C and collagen. This one retails £38 for 15ml of product, making this 3ml size worth about £7.60. So it is a pretty tiny one, but it's supposed to make your under eyes really bright. It says featuring vitamin C and gold extract, the lightweight formula encourages enhanced radiance over time, diminishing noticeable dark circles, tonal irregularities and fine lines. Light reflecting yellow mineral pigments help to renew the look of tired eyes while hydrating the contours to ensure a seamless concealer application and wear. So that is the video and the box. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you are following me here on YouTube and on Instagram with your notifications turned on if you want to know when products like this and boxes like this go on sale. I try to keep up with it as much as I possibly can. I've also linked all the products underneath if you want to check them out along with some discount codes if you want to do a bit of beauty shopping. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.